Shalom and G'dayo, this is Tehillim29, back again, doing a Fool's Gold review for Rainbow Press and Comics. And just so those who haven't watched the Fool's Gold in the past, and this might be your first time, the things that I rate it on are cover, art and story. Total for the artist is in connection to this. How much the comic is worth and how much I actually think it's worth. So seeing that we pay $3.99 US that translates to just under $7 in Australian. So let's start off with the first, the cover. How does the cover work in relation to the story and what do I rate it and what's it's worth? Now, do we get to see Connor carrying a sword in this story? No, not at all, but it's also meant to imply that he also meets Warlord. So in that, he does meet Warlord. I did actually like the variant cover a little bit more than this, but I decided to stick with the regular. So, cover rating. Three out of five. Oh, three out of ten. Amount that I'd put towards it, maybe a dollar fifty in Australian in worth. Next is art. Seeing that we've got a couple of artists for this this time around. We've got Tim's, Oming, Growl, and Altea. And I want to admit, there were some really nice big splash pages in here. And I'm going to go directly to them. And I don't care if it spoils the story. Starting off with the first splash page. Fucking incredible. I really enjoyed this page. <laughs> now, how much it holds to also the, the character that we're meeting in this, the, the, the actual character, I'm unable to tell you because I've not looked into the character of Warlord, so I don't know a lot about his origin. But I did enjoy this. The next splash page that I enjoyed was actually this one. Well, all my all minus um Tim Drake's disgusting new look. Uh, I enjoyed seeing the team up of all who r presently represent Young Justice. And yeah, spoilers ahead because uh, I will spoil some of the things that are going to happen. The art rating, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 10. To which it would probably make it a dollar seventy-five. So, artist is doing a great job in making up part of what I've spent for this comic. Let's get to the story. The beginning of this, the beginning of this story, I really enjoyed. I mean, only the beginning of it, say the first four pages, they were fantastic in this. But as it moved into Young Justice and Bender Speak dialogue, it started to go downhill. It really did. It started to go downhill. And you could see Brian Michael Bendis platforming a lot of his new characters. 
that he has created in this universe. Alright, for the if I were if I were to rate this story just from the beginning of the story, I would give it a five out of ten. But as it got past that, it dropped to at least a two point five out of ten. Characterization. <laughs> Alright, some of these characters I actually know, especially of how Dan Didio and Rockefort worked on Sideways. The way Bendis wrote Sideways was a fucking trash fire. Same with Aqualad too. Yeah, these are the spoilers. <laughs> and I don't give a crap. And it also looks like we've got Raven in the mix too, or spoiler, one of the two. And it's not pointed out who all this new cast is. It should be, but it's not. So uh, thanks for ruining another comic, Brian Michael Bendis. Remember, you can't bank on Bendis at DC Comics. Now, moving into parts of the story, was time included? Did we get to know the time of the events? Ah, uh, fuck no. No, we didn't. No idea at all when it took... When this took place. How about locations? In fact, he did a really good job in pointing out locations this time. So, increase that improvement. Cast of characters. Well, he introduced us to the new cast, or one new character, which was e which he made easy to identify. But as for the new cast, which you saw, spoilers at the end, uh, not very clearly at all. He expects the new reader who would pick up this book to know immediately who the fuck they are. I'm sorry, um, it doesn't work that way with customers or consumers. Especially the new customers who might be picking up your book. They might say, oh, who are these fucking people? Oh, it doesn't say. Uh, what's the fucking use of picking up this book? Yeah. And then they just, then they just put it fucking back down and say, yeah, well, that was useless. As Brian Michael Bendis's career right now. And those sales that keep on drop, drop, dropping. So for the things that he did get right. 2 out of 10. That's in regards to the story. 2 out of 10. And that's why the story rating is 2.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment whether you'd like this comic or not. 